Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Because acetic acid is a weak acid, it is not going to completely dissociate into a proton and acetate anion. However, when sodium acetate is added to a solution, it dissociates completely. So 100% of the acetate in sodium acetate is going to enter the solution. That's going to cause acetate anion concentration to increase dramatically. And according to Le Chatelier's principle, whenever you disrupt an equilibrium, the equilibrium will shift in the direction that's going to balance everything out again. So because we have an increase on the right side here, it's going to cause our reaction to shift to the left, because that's going to cause this to go back down again, right? And not only that, but it's going to cause the H plus concentration to decrease as well. And as we know, as the H plus concentration decreases, the pH increases. Therefore, adding sodium acetate to our solution it's going to cause the pH to increase because of the increased concentration of acetate ions. Therefore, answer choice B is the correct answer. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.